Good evening. Uh, it's storytelling time. It's bedtime. So I hope that you're nice and tired and you're going you're gonna to talk less and you can listen and I'm going to read you a story, okay? Um, today we're going to read um, There's an Alligator Under My Bed and the author written and illustrated by Mercer Mayer. This ought to be a pretty good one. Let's have a look, shall we? To Auburn and Philip. There used to be an alligator under my bed. When it was time to go to sleep, I had to be very careful. because I knew he was there. But whenever I looked, he hid or something. <gasps> so I'd call mom and dad, Mom, Dad! But they never saw it. Hmm. It was up to me. I just had to do something about that alligator. So I went to the kitchen to get some all alligator bait. I filled a paper bag of things alligators like to eat. I had a peanut butter sandwich, some fruit, and the last piece of pie in the garage. I put cookies down the hall. I left fresh vegetables on the stairs. I put soda and some candy next to my bed, then I watched and I waited. <gasps> sure enough, oh, he came to get something to eat. Oh, no, 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 no. Then I hid in the hall closet. I followed him down the stairs. I followed him down the hall. <laughs> When he crawled into the garage, ta -da, I slammed the door and locked it. Yippee! Mm -hmm. Then I went to bed. There wasn't even any mess to clean up. Now that there's an alligator in the garage, I wonder if my dad will have any trouble getting into his car tomorrow morning. <gasps> Ooh. I'll just leave him a note. Dear Dad, there's an alligator in the garage. If you need help, wake me up. Warning, be careful. The end. What a great story. Okay, kids. Be quiet. Turn over. Close your eyes. Go to sleep. I love you. Good night.